In Western Riding, we want a, a well-trained horse uh, that moves under weight transfers, away from leg pressure, is soft in the face, got lateral flexion, got vertical flexion, and that is what you want from an English horse. What we do, if we look at the historical concept of it all, is that it was the cavalry dressage horse that actually suddenly became softer to work cattle. So you wanted all the expertise of the cavalry dressage horse but you want it in a softer outline and everything else so if you were taking a bunch of wild cattle or riding them up you did not have these cattle all flying away and that's the uh, the beauty of the western horse it's, it's exactly the same to the level of degree of training um, but with that little softness to it all that makes it enjoyable to ride and fun to ride uh, this action, number 33. Uh, i was uh, actually watching a, a quarter horse film years ago and I was fascinated on the control and the obedience of these horses with so limited use of the reins and uh, it just blew my mind away. And I just had to work out how there was a reason. In those days we didn't have teachers or anything else. And I used to take my old mare out, or well, she's an old mare now, she was a young mare there and I used to go and try that and try that and then uh, all of a sudden it was working. And uh, I was going like, this is great. And uh, I always remember the, the first demonstration I did was at uh, Hunt Kennels. And somebody said, well, you know, if you want to do proper riding, oh boy, you've got to do some hunting and jumping. And I'm going like, why? <laughs> you know, my horse is better trained than yours, and I think I'm quite happy with that. And so I bent down the road and, and, and said, you know, I've got to show uh, people what Western riding is all about. And, uh, and that has been fun. It's been the story of my life, actually, for the last 28 years I've ridden western and just trying to educate people that it's not about being a cowboy it's actually a style of riding which actually suits most people now the show here today is a show put on by west coast circuit shows which is an organization that we've set up in the west country to promote and develop the competition side of western riding and um, western riding as you probably know is the fastest growing equestrian sport in europe um, it's attained FEI status through reigning, which was um, uh, seen at the latest um, games at Aachen and before that at Jerez in Spain, and has become probably one of the best spectator sports uh, in the equestrian arena. Today we're covering the whole panoply of um, Western disciplines from horsemanship, showmanship, trail which is going on behind me, to reining and then uh, an event called Super Horse which is a conglomeration of all of those disciplines amalgamated in one class and um, for uh, all riders. Any able-bodied, well-minded, um, willingly guided horse, four legs, a couple of eyes, mouth and a tail helps and uh, you take them out and, and, and you, you, you learn to ride in, a, in the western style um, and uh, it's available to, to everyone, it's not closed shop when you get into competition, obviously, there are different kinds of categories, different breeds. There's Appaloosa, which is an American breed, um, and then, of course, the Quarter Horse, which is the lead breed, if you like, um, in our particular sport. The Quarter Horse came about, really, from the Conquistadors when they came into South America, and it moved upwards and, and then married itself off, if you like, evolutionarily, with the uh, Mustang and the... the, the conglomeration of the two, the union of the two, produced um, what is today known as the quarter horse. Um, the quarter horse doesn't come from the fact that it has a, uh, a large engine at the rear, it comes from uh, the fact that people used to race them across a quarter of a mile, a standing quarter, which is actually the 
uh, size of a block in America, a quarter of a mile by a quarter of a mile by a quarter of a mile, hence your mile. Um, and the guys used to have a few beers in the in the saloon, decide to challenge each other to go for a, a race around the block, but it was actually the block, and hence the quarter horse. It's still the fastest horse over a standing quarter in the world today. A Western's a sport that's developing right the way across the country, and centres are springing up here, in Lincoln, in Sussex, really r very broad spectrum of places. Um, the Medip Stud has been set up to provide uh, a teaching environment as well as a training environment. So all you have to do is pick the phone up, look us up on the website www.themedipstud.com and uh, that's exactly what we try and provide, which is people giving people an opportunity to start from a zero base into our sport. We don't mind if you've never ridden, if you are a, an Olympic eventer such as one of the ladies we have here today who's just asked and booked for a lesson. Uh, she's come from New Zealand and is so impressed by what we do she'd like to do it and so it's right the way across the whole spectrum uh, of uh, equestrian ability. Well, I think probably the easiest way of describing reining is probably a Western version of uh, dressage. We ride our horses uh, one-handed, uh, we neck rein, um, and our horses have to be willingly guided, i.e. we do not pull on our reins. As, uh, we, let them, we ride very much on a loose rein, uh, and we guide them very much with neck rein both ways. Um, it's a set pattern. There's uh, ten patterns altogether that we ride. Um, all the patterns consist of two or three flying lead changes, um, spins which will spin four times uh, to the left or to the right and they have to finish off exactly the right position at the end of the spin. If we overspin or underspin then we're deducted points. Um, there is circles so we ride four fast circles in each direction uh, and two small circles. Um, again the circles have to be as fast as we can ride them and we have to bring the horses back to a slow circle without pulling on them just by the weight of the seat and just sitting back and letting them ra relax and getting into a small circle. We've then got our stops. Um, usually most patterns consist of three stops um, and two rollbacks. With the stops, we're usually at a full gallop. They, they'll stop not on a rein but on a, on a command. So it's wall and when they, we say wall, they've got to stop and we've got to stop with them and float with them if we can, sink into them rather than go over the top, uh, which we prefer not to. Um, and then we roll back, uh, which is a complete 180 degree turn on the horse, one movement. So they have to come back on the proper lead and head off again. Raining started in the States. Um, really, I mean, the manoeuvres that we do are basic manoeuvres that most of the ranch hands would have done when they worked with cattle. Mm -hmm. And if you ever worked, you see, cutting, in the States, I mean, the, the horses are very much like sheepdogs. They will get down so low and they'll run so quickly from side to side to cut out the calf from the mother. Uh, and all the manoeuvres like that, roll backs, very fast acceleration, very quick stops, uh, very fast circles, is all the working uh, quarter horses used to do. So that's just really been advanced into a form of yeah. discipline. Well, some of our most successful demonstrations have been with um, Bob Mayhew and David Deptford when they've explained to the audience how the scoring is done and then they've gone on to do a demonstration and people have been able to pick out points and suddenly it makes a lot more sense. So we hope it will grow in England. I'm sure it will. Yeah. It's got to. It's very big yeah. across the world and we're just a little bit behind. We've been behind mainly, I think, on, on our facilities up to this year. We've mm. not had any raining facilities. We need an area like you know that's a sand base to, to slide on. Uh, and unfortunately most of the English arenas uh, aren't suited so we only had one or two areas that we could mm -hmm. rain on. Now um, John's got, uh, John here at Mendit Stubbs got two uh, good, nice arena which we've got two shows here um, there's another one at Bodium and David Deptford up in right. Cambridgeshire has had our three shows this year so suddenly we're now getting yeah. the shows, we're getting the services so our horses can perform where before they struggled you know mm. with the wrong surfaces. Definitely yeah. did. Yeah.